What is in what is in this bag? Let's find out. Look at that. That is going to be my next project. NFC tags. I think there's 25 of those in there. So I'm going to put these on Home Assistant today and we're going to do some fun stuff with them. As you saw from the opening, we're going to play with NFC tags today. I'm pretty excited about that. So I've got my phone. I've got my phone and I've got an NF NFC tag. I have two of these NFC tags with me right now. It's super simple. You go to your Home Assistant app and you go to configuration. And then you go to um, tags, add a tag give it a name. I'll call this one tag one, create and write, scan it. And there you go. And I'm going to just create a second tag. So add another tag, call this one tag two. And we're going to create and write this one as well. All right, so now we have two tags. So now we should be able to come over to Home Assistant and look in our configuration here. Hey everyone. So 95% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if you can take a second and hit that little subscribe button, that would be fantastic. I'm really hoping to, to a thousand subscribers real quick like, so if you can help me out, that would be great. All right, back to the show. Down at tags. And here are the two tags I just created. So right away, I'm gonna create an automation to turn a light on, hovering over the NFC tag. So tag one is scanned, single, trigger type is tag, tag is tag one, and these are the names that you assign to them. So tag one or tag two. And I'm going to do an action, which will be a device. Um, actually, we're going to do a call service. Service is going to be switch turn on or turn on. Switch turn on. And my entity ID is going to be study or playroom, playroom light. And we're gonna save it. Now, if I go back over to Home Assistant and I look at my dashboard, here's the playroom light. And if we did everything correctly, I'm gonna unlock my phone. I don't have to be in the app, but I can unlock my phone and hover over a tag, right? The, that was tag one. So all I did here was hover over it and there it went. Um, so that's fun. So we can create another automation off of that tag, off another tag to turn off the light. So if I go back over to configuration, I'll open that in a new tab. And I'll go find my tags that I just created. I'm using tag one to turn it on. So I'm going to create an automation with tag two to turn the light off. So tag two, and I didn't give it a description. I probably should have. Um, and then my action again will be a call service. Service is going to be switch turn off. You could toggle too off of the same NFC tag if you wanted to. And then playroom again. 
And let's go ahead and save that. Go back over here. My light is currently on. I've got two different tags. They're white tags with no writing on them at all. So I have no idea which one's which. But I'm going to go ahead and unlock the phone and just scan it. Try to scan it here. And this is tag two because it turned the light off. And you can see that right here. And this is tag one. Come here. All right, they turned it on. So tag one and tag two. And that's that's pretty awesome. All right, so what else can we do? Well, anything you can call a trigger on or an action on, you can do with the NFC tag. Um, I have all kinds of fun ideas for this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to node red. And I'm going to do the same thing in node red, only slightly different. So you can build automations directly in the UI, uh, in Home Assistant's UI. But you can also build those uh, within Node Red, which is where I do a lot of my automation work. Node Red's a little bit differently because we have to kind of watch the event bus and see what's coming in from the event bus into Node Red. So let me go over to my playground here. And let me pick a blank spot. So I'm going to look at this event bus. And I don't want to look at every single event because that'll overload. Uh, the webhook or overload the input. So I want to look for tag scan and I'll call it tag scan. So this event will only look at events where the tag is scanned. And now I have to determine which tag is actually scanned. So I can create a switchy or add a switch node and I can add a couple options to that. So the first one will be a message payload. And I need to look at message payload um, event, and I want to know the tag ID. So I can use tag ID here. Now, what is the tag ID? Uh, we can go back over here to configuration and tags and see if we can get that information here. So here is tag ID for tag one. So this is my turn on the light tag. So let me copy that and I'm going to put it over here as the string for the first path. And I'm going to create another path for tag two, which is what I use to turn off the light. So let me look at the tag ID for that one. Okay, here's a tag ID. Let me copy that and put it over here. All right, so there's that. Let me turn on my little mouse highlighter thingy job. So you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so there's the, the secondary um, tag for turning it off. So I have two paths that come out of this. I'm gonna call this um, switch, or I'm gonna call this tag one and two. That's very uncreative. So now I'll, I'll tie these two together. So now I have an output for tag one and an output for tag two. And I want to do something with that. So I'm going to do a call service. And I'm going to do a light on. So I will do the same thing I did under the other automation. And I don't know what's going to happen when I have this running. <laughs> My automations running together. I wouldn't do this normally. I wouldn't create an automation within uh, Home Assistant directly and then create another duplicate automation within Node Red. So I don't know, it might cross the streams and blow up, who knows. All right, so um, I'm gonna turn on, turn on Playroom Light. And my domain is gonna be Switch. My service is going to be turn on. My entity ID is going to be play room light here. And that's all I need for that one. I'm going to copy this. Control C, Control V, I think. Is it copy? Let me try it again. Copy. There we go. And I'm going to just change the values to off for everything. So this will be turn off playroom. 
and this will be off and the same entity. So now we're done with that. Before I run this, uh, I want to go over to my automations in Node Red. Or no, I'm sorry, not Node Red. I want to go over to my automations in Home Assistant and disable that or turn it off. So I'm going to disable this one. Tag one is scanned. Tag one is scanned. Tag two is scanned. Um, this must have been one I was playing with earlier. So anyway, I've turned those off so that they won't fire whenever I do this through Node Red. So now the Node Red, is, uh, the Node Red path is set up. And if I scan the on one, unlock my phone and take the tag, scan it. All right, so you can see the tag got scanned here. And you can see the switch was turned on and I'm looking out here. Yes, I'm looking out here. I can see the light out there is on. So now let's scan the other tag and we should see the other path actually flow. All right, so now the tag was scanned again and then it went to the ID of the other um, tag and turned the switch off. And again, I can see the switch, the light switch is turned off out there. So the sky is the limit. I have 25 of these things. I got 20, a pack of 25. They're pretty cheap, actually. Um, some of the things I want to do, number one, is I have a, a, a script that I run to turn off the alarm or turn on the alarm at night. I set one of these little guys, gals, whatever, one of these tags on my nightstand, and I will scan it, and it will alarm my alarm for me. Um, I can take another one, for example, and I can put it in my vehicle. So when I'm leaving, I can scan this and it will alarm, set the alarm without me having to log in. All I do, I've showed you this a hundred times already, unlock your phone, scan it, scan it, and voila. Now, even for me, it's even easier because if I unlock my phone and just hover over the tag, it works. I don't have to um, I don't have to hold it and do all this little funny stuff back here. I can just lay it down on top of it. So NFC tags, they're amazing. Um, they're super simple to use in Home Assistant and you can build whatever automations and stuff you want to do with them. Um, so enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. Uh, comments if you have any comments and we'll see you on the next video. Okay, so I'm in the car now, and with one of my NFC tags, I want to be able to arm the alarm system and drive away. So, let's uh, unlock the phone, and I'm just going to open the app just to show you what it's doing. You don't have to have the app open in order for this to work, so I'm going to take, and I'm going to um, scan it. And now you can see that the alarm is arming and that's setting away. And in a minute, my front door lock will lock, hopefully. And that's one of the uses of a little white tag, in a C tag sitting on whatever. I can just keep that in the car and uh, anytime I leave I just scan it and my alarm gets armed. Amazing! Alright, see ya!